Okay, so, hi guys. I said I would post a video on kinetic energy. So here it is. So, first of all, let's say we have a block of mass. See, that is my block of mass right there. Beautiful drawing. It is equal to 5 kilograms. And this block falls 2 meters. Now we know that potential energy, or at least we do from the last package there, we know that potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height, which we also learned last class is equal to kinetic energy. Therefore, kinetic energy also equals mass times gravity times height. So, first of all, we want to find this kinetic energy. So basically we do kinetic energy equals mass times gravity times height, which is equal, I'm not going to write the units because it'll take too long in this program, but you have to write them. Equal mass times gravity times height, which is equal to 5 times 9.81 times 2, which is equal to 98 point one joules and that would also be the same as its potential energy so now we know that kinetic energy is equal to ninety eight point one joules now now we go on to find thing that everybody oh didn't mean to do that whoopsies didn't mean to do that either sorry bear with me first time i used this program Okay. So, <clears throat> so the thing, and now the whole mystery everybody's having trouble with is velocity. So I'm just going to clear this here. Ah, wrong keyboard. I'm going to clear that. So everybody's having trouble with velocity. The law. Now, it's rather simple once you get the hang of it, but that's the problem, getting the hang of it. So, we know that kinetic energy is equal to, as he told us in class, one half of the mass. Let me write it out for you so you understand better. One half of the mass times velocity squared, or velocity to the power of 2. Now, we want to find what velocity is. So, basically, it's it's sort of like algebra, for those of you who remember algebra from last year. Um, so, we have our awesome block of mass that is 5 kilograms, and that fell 2 meters. Fell 2 meters. So basically, we have to do, you say, that kinetic energy equals half of the mass times velocity squared, which is equal to one half, and this is where you want the brackets, one half of the mass, which is five kilograms. So one half of five kilograms, or one half times five kilograms, times velocity to the power of 2, or velocity squared. Now see, we w velocity is the variable here. We want to know what veloc velocity is. And you'll, and it, it could be said that, well, we don't know, well, we have velocity, we have kinetic energy. That's two variables. You can't solve it. But we just found out last time that the kinetic energy was 98.1 joules. So we do know what the kinetic energy is, and therefore have only one variable. So basically, now we just, first of all, we solve for the first bracket, which is half of t of 5, and hopefully you all know that that is 2.5 kilograms times velocity to the power of 2. Um, so now, if, see, this is where we get into going backwards and stuff like this, because we know 1 times, or no, actually, no, not, not that. 
two, uh, not that, forget about that. Two times three equals six, right? Therefore, six divided by three equals two. You're going backwards. So basically, what you have to do here, oh, my iPad turned off. What you have to do here is you reverse this problem. So we have velocity to the power of 2 equals, because that's what we're trying to find, equals 98.1 joules divided by divided by 2.5 kilograms. That's a G. I'm very sorry. Um, so now all we really have to do is we have to divide this, right? So 98.1 divided by 2.5. 98.1 divided by 2.5. I don't think I did that right. 98.1 divided by 2.5 is 39.4, if I am correct. Yes, 39.4. So all this here, this problem, this big confusing problem here, is equal to 39.4. That's a 4. That's a 9. Sorry, that's a 9. That's a 4. I'm very sorry. Um, so yeah, so far we have velocity squared equals 39.4, but that's not it. Because that's velocity squared. Okay, I'm going to take this off the board. Or I'm going to try to take this off the board, rather. Okay. So that's velocity squared. We want to find out what velocity is. Therefore, we do... First of all, when you want to find velocity squared. Velocity squared is equal to velocity times velocity, right? Now, a lot of people are confused about the velocity squared, the square root of velocity squared. And the reason that we are doing square root of velocity squared is because the square root of velocity squared will be equal to velocity. Because you're basically, what, what times itself is equal to velocity squared? And we know that velocity squared is equal to velocity times velocity. Therefore, the answer will only be one velocity. And we have velocity. Velocity, velocity. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you saying velocity all the time. I'll try to say it in a simpler way. So basically, you have, let's say you have 2. Now, we want to find the square root of 2. No, no, sorry, that's too confusing. That, you have to go into all this confusing stuff. Okay, 4. Yes, we have the square, we want to find the square root of 4. Square root of 4, you're basically saying what to the power of 2 will be equal to 4. And we know that here 2 is the answer because 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Sorry, that's an equal sign. So now, if we want velocity, the square root of velocity squared, basically, we're saying x to the power of 2 will equal velocity to the power of 2. That x is a v. v it makes sense that v to the power of 2 is equal to v to the power of 2. So the answer, where here you're solving for x, here, the answer would be V. So that is why, that was just an explanation on why we are doing V squared, the square root of V squared. So, so now we have 36, thir 36, wow. We have 39.2, if you remember from our last equation earlier on, and we know that V, v squared is equal to 39.2. Now, we this is v squared, and basically, you want to be able to have just what v is equal to. We want velocity, not velocity squared. So what we do, we have v squared 
equals 39.2. And basically what, what we want to do is we want to make a square root. We want to get the square root of this, which is, of course, equal to v. Right? Because square root of loss c squared is equal to v, like we just saw. But, of course, we can't do this to one side without doing it to the other side. So we have to find the square root of 39.2, or 39.4. I'm sorry, I think we had 39.4 earlier. I'm sorry if I confused you. Um, so basically, we have to do square root of each side, and it's a really easy calculation. You just put the square root symbol in the calculator. It's basically 39.4 square root. So this here is equal to 6. 0.27. So we get velocity is equal to 6.27. So, hope that helped. And yeah.